Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. We are here at GG Autos in South Bend and today we have something rather special. Charlie Brucey's M135i wide body. Charlie, how you doing mate? Good, you? Not too bad mate, not too bad. So of course, this is your lovely 135i. Firstly, what on earth have you done to that splitter? Here we go, here we go. Oh, don't ask me, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, of course, of no. course, of course. Anyway mate, this is quite a unique build, right? Okay, Tommy just photobombing. Prize, mate. Of course, GG photobombing. So, of course, this is quite the uh, unique build, but we'll touch on the main attraction a bit later on. But with this being a track car, I assume, you're doing uh, 49 seconds round brands, apparently. No, if only. Um, yeah, if only. come on, come on, come on. No, so, yeah, only. if you just quickly want to pop the engine bay, because with this being an M135i, guys, they're quite notorious when it comes to going on track and the sump being a bit, I don't know, what did I say about the sump, the oh, oil pickup and stuff? Excuse the mess. Can we just, uh, oh Lord. You can tell this boy beats it around track and apparently all of the dust comes from there because it is obviously wide body, but mate, engine wise, what are we running, stock power? Uh, it's a stage one map, basically like off MHD. Mm -hmm. So probably, I don't know, three, what? 330, 350 Don't tops. talk, no, you're about 400. No, it's not. Have you not noticed down here as well? We've yeah, got something it's, down it's there. It's got all the, all the hardware, just the stage one map. So we're reliable. Running, we've gone in an intercooler. Yeah, it's got a massive charge intercooler, pipe. charge pipe. Yeah, that blew up on me doing a sip gear pull. <laughs> nice, uh, nice, nice. And then just the Burger Motorsports intake. It's got all the M2 running gear. By running gear, what do you mean? Just want uh, to break like that down oil, a bit? Oil pump, pickup, baffle sump. So is that so. what normally goes on the N55 or causes the problem with the bottom yeah, end? Yeah, they starve themselves with oil. Okay. I think it's left-hand turns. Those G-forces so, though. Yeah, oh, Tommy okay. is the man for doing that retrofit. Wicked, wicked, wicked. So next plans for power anyway. Is there any or are you happy with where you are now? Uh, not at all. It's just go fast around the corners. Okay, so I need go fast. Decent tires. Of course, and you can see uh, we've got... Yeah, you can see the tires through the... I was going to say, we've got... The, the gap. We've got a, quite a big setup at the minute. We will touch on tires just a bit, but the main thing I wanted to, to mention is obviously engine-wise, it's stock. Just the bottom end's had a few changes. Yeah, and we'll, we'll close that because it's needed. dirty. <laughs> so it's a 550i clutch. I okay. You actually supplied that with, with performance. Yep. Um, it's got an MP parts and engineering short shifter. Nice. Very nice and Jesus, clunky. That sounds very solid. Bucket um, seats. Yeah, Sparco buckets that I bought off of a friend. Um, the cage also got second. It's basically a budget build. Wicked. So, yeah. But it goes, mate. I'll tell you that for free. Obviously, me and Charlie have done a few track days, Brands Hatch, Netterton, and I can speak for the lad. The boy can pedal. Mm. Moving round to the rear, you can see how thick it is. And we've got Charlie, who's just going to turn it on and tell you guys how this thing sounds. Uh, let me stand over here. Yep, yeah, when you're ready, mate. Jesus is alive. So Charlie, that sound that we just heard, just want to talk us through it. How come it sounds like that? Is it decatted, straight pipe, the whole system, or? Oh, I don't think I can say that on camera. <laughs> How dare you? All right, so what system do you normally run anyway? So normally it's a high flow sports cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know yep. what that means. <laughs> uh, res delete with a Hemholz chamber. Nice. So it's an anti drone pipe. Okay. And then a modified back box that I did myself. But because Tim. Obviously, yeah, we need he's something a bit of a we He's a bit of a winger. <laughs> so I changed the exhaust to something that looks a bit nicer rather than a stuck back box. Fair enough, fair enough. And something that I have seen on a lot of these. Um, BMW Focus M like track cars is a big fat wing. Are you not going in that direction? Or this video is sponsored by SV Air Conditioning. If you are interested in air conditioning for your house or for your company, please get in touch. <laughs> so we were talking about the roof spoiler and something to note is that I have seen a lot of track focused M lights with big- A big wang. Wang, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So is that on the cards for you or? Um, Potentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the moment, I quite like OEM Plus, if we can call it that. <laughs> hey! Um, but I'd probably say within a year or two, I'll have another spare boot with a proper nice. touring car style wing on it, like Dobbo's. Nice, nice, nice. So what about um, Kitsch? Or is Kitsch, Kitsch too slow, right? Kitsch, you've heard I it. Think we all know that. <laughs> Okay, so that is the main things of both the interior, engine, and in terms of looks, exterior. But now, 
what you guys have all been waiting for is this. So am I correct in saying this is a BMW part? Yeah, it's all genuine BMW parts, mm -hmm. um, but butchered to fit a one series. Of course. So it's a 235 cut car kit. Um, it's all carbon fiber. So okay. from like, carbon from fiber? here down, yeah, carbon fiber. <laughs> and from this line, I got it stitched into the body. I did most of the work myself. Mm -hmm. um, like on the whole car, there's a few bits that I've had done. Like Tommy's done a couple of bits. Sure. The paint, I'm not. I can't paint. It's, yeah, I was going to say it needs a bit of paint, mate. Yeah. But and uh, just modifying the carbon, so the two series kit came out to here. Mm -hmm. um, I'll give Tim some videos to put in the video of the, sure. of the build. Um, but yeah, that comes here. So this needed to be pulled down. This needed to be pulled down, um, and then the front bumper is the same as well. The bumper panels. So, uh, so in regards to this, so this is from BMW's M235i Racing, yes. and you've cut it down to fit an M like uh, one series. It. So the rear end has been cut to fit. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had to cut the fuel flap out because of a different fuel flap sure. style. Um, and then this had to be pulled in. So normally it's just a bolt on kit, but mm -hmm. I didn't like the way it looked bolted on. So sure. we've sort of smoothed it out and made it fit. And with this setup now, is that going to mean you're going to be able to run an M4, M3 subframe in the future? Or what tyres have you got set up now? Uh, I should be able to, but I've, at the moment, I don't see any point in doing that. Fair I'm enough. quite I happy like with that. how it is at the moment. Sure. Um, but the wheels are a bit awkward to get now because of the offsets and the size. Sure. So they're, they're 10J on all four corners. Wow. With a 8mm offset. And what, what, what size tyres have you got on at the moment? Um, at the moment, it's a 265, 35, 18. Square setup? NS2Rs, yeah, okay. square setup all round, but I already don't like the tyres, it's like sure. driving on rocks. So you've, you've, I think when I saw you at Brands, you were on the AR1s, right? Yeah. Is that yeah. your your, your tyre so of choice usually? That was before the body kit, Sure. on a 245 square, mm -hmm. and it's, it's more stable now, but it has less grip. Ah, okay, sense. fair so, enough. Yeah, a good set of tyres, potentially slicks. So okay. And we'll, we'll be good for track days. And you'd keep these obviously to drive to the track because am I right in saying this is still something you daily drive? Yeah. So, so somehow this dude still daily drives this beast. Yeah, still drive it to work every day, drive it home from work. Go, drove up to Scotland in it last year. Wicked. For a Christmas holiday <laughs> with a girlfriend. And in terms of this, is this on uh, BC coilovers still? Uh, yes, yeah, BC. I can't remember what ones. BC coilovers with yeah. uh, anti-roll anti bar upgraded as well. Yep, 235 roll bars. Nice, absolutely amazing. So yeah, guys, this yeah. is Brucey's build. Is there anything we've missed out on, mate? Uh, yeah, quite a bit, actually. Go on then, tell um, us. It scares Tim. Oh, it screams yeah. like a little girl. 100%. Like, Charlie, slow down. Guys, if you know me, I, I love driving, but, but being a passenger in cars like this, by that I mean cars that can go quick, I'm not the funnest thing in the world. I get out of the car and I'm happy, but during, it's quite, not sketchy, it's just quite intimidating. Especially after wagon mummers. hundred percent. Especially a full belly of food. Charlie, I have kids. <laughs> it's facts, it's facts. Guys, this is Charlie's build. I'm gonna hopefully go out now and get some more drive-by bits. He's pointing at the wheels. Oh, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. He's flexing because you did have the Alcons yep, before. They were also second hand off and the kitch. You like those? Yeah, I love them. But you, the, the, the APs, seized, the APs are just. Well, it's consumables. Okay. Caliper seized on the Alcons, so I need to get them sorted out. And then these are cheap consumables. And the APs just breaking wise. They feel similar. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They don't feel too. Like he's different. just saying that because he's scared of Jack. He doesn't want Jack to come down here in his yeah. range I mean, in his I Land love Rover. Jack, but he'll come down in his Land, Land Rover, Rover in the big and puddles. Start crushing into people. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we love you, Jack. Hope your studs are fixed on your car as well, mate. Next time, don't tighten them down to 200 newton meters. But um, yeah, guys, this has been the video. Again, a huge shout out to Bruce. I'm going to make sure you guys can follow the build just by finding him here on Instagram. But as usual, if you have enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we will see you in the next one. Again, yeah. shout out to SB Air Conditioning. Um, thanks to Tim for having us. Of course, man. Anytime, bro. Anytime.